It is draft season in the NHL, and of course, that means it is also mock draft season in the NHL. So today, we're going to bring you the first 16 picks of our Locked On NHL Mock Draft 2022. Locked On Blue Jackets, your daily podcast on the Columbus Blue Jackets. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hello and welcome to Locked On Blue Jacket. We're part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. I am, as always, your host, Jay Foster, here to bring you, uh, well, today I'm bringing you the first 16 picks of our Locked On NHL mock draft. This is every team who was in the lottery. Obviously, not anyone past 17 because they were in the playoffs and the seeding wasn't done by the time we had all started picking. So, uh, should be fun. Uh, the Blue Jackets pick 6th and 12th, so that is where I picked, and hopefully you guys will find uh, my picks in- interesting and entertaining, if nothing else. Um, before we get started, I want to thank everyone for making this your first listen of the day. Locked on Blue Jackets is free and available on all podcast platforms and also on YouTube. And I also want to let you know that today's episode is brought to you by Bet Online. Bet Online has you covered this season with more props, odds, and lines than ever before. Because bet online is where the game starts, and if you want to put some money on uh, who was picking where or who was picking who in the draft, then uh, maybe betonline.net is the place for you. I'm just going to get right into the Locked On NHL mock draft. Hey there, everyone. It is Scott Matla here from Locked On Canadians to announce the first overall pick in the Locked On NHL mock draft. And on behalf of my co-host, the active stick, Laura Saba, and myself, we are pleased to select from the Kingston front next of the Ontario Hockey League, first overall, center, Shane Wright. And this was by far the easiest choice. We are not doing the discourse. We are not galaxy branding the first overall pick. We are going with the right choice, no pun, and some pun intended here in that Shane Wright fits everything the Canadians need right now. They need a centerman for the future. They need a guy who plays in a system that Martin St. Louis preaches behind the bench. And he was the guy from the minute the Canadian season started spiraling out of control. 94 points this season. I know a lot of people are almost unenthused at this, but you know what? Sometimes the safe pick is the right pick. We are so happy to have Shane Wright as a member of the Canadians now. And if you want to hear us break it down, make sure you're following us at LO underscore LO underscore Canadians. Follow us on YouTube, Twitter, follow Laura at The Active Stick, and myself at Scott Matla for all of your Shane Wright content. What's up? This is Trent Matthews of Locked On Devils reporting live from the south of France to give you the second overall pick. So with the second overall pick in the 2022 NHL Locked On Mock Draft, the New Jersey Devils are proud to select Uri Slavkowski from Slovakia. It was a no-brainer that the New Jersey Devils would hypothetically draft Slavkowski with the second overall pick. This guy can play a power forward type of position in the NHL. He definitely has some uh, great handles and overall what he was able to do in the Olympic Games and also the world champions. So first and foremost, in the Olympic Games, he was able to net seven goals that led the entire Olympic totals. He was able to win Olympic MVP and he also led the Olympic team in points. And then for the world champions, when he's playing against other NHL players, he was able to hold his ground and he was able to pick up right where he left off. So overall, Slavkowski would be a great addition for New Jersey Devils. And I have some insiders telling me that if Slavkowski were to be paired alongside with someone like Thomas Tatar, you could see a surge in maybe in both Thomas Tatar and also Uri Slavkowski's game. So overall, Slavkowski would be a great addition for New Jersey Devils and he would provide a great amount of offense for years to come. Once again, once he gets to the NHL, you can expect for him to be sort of like a power forward in terms of positioning and also just his overall impact and contribution. And I think this would be a great addition for a New Jersey Devils roster for years to come. Hey, hey, hockey fans. This is Robin Leonu of the Locked On Coyotes podcast with the third pick in the 2022 Locked On NHL Lottery Mock Draft. The Arizona Coyotes are proud to select from the U.S. National Team Development Program, Logan Cooley. Cooley, without a doubt, one of the top prospects, one of the most sought-after prospects in this year's draft outside of Shane Wright, of course, and with good reason. 
He had quite the year with the, with the U.S. program, the, US, the U18 program, and with the National T- Team Development program in the USHL, posting a combined 111 points in 75 games played. Not, that does not include the, uh, the World Junior Tournament, the US18 tournament that also took place. But let's also take a look at he is quite formidable with some of his stats on the faceoff, which shows that he can do well at the center position as well, something that could really benefit the Arizona Coyotes, who have been lacking in that position for quite the last few years. So Cooley can easily fit into that and help grow that position as the Coyotes navigate an incredibly difficult position. So once again, Logan Cooley from the U.S. National Team Development Program at third overall, a really well pick for Arizona. Hey, hockey fans, Erica L. Ayala here, your host of Locked on Kraken. And I am here to let you know that with the number four overall pick in the Locked on NHL 2022 mock entry draft, the Seattle Kraken, by way of Locked on Kraken, are going to select 18-year-old defenseman from Slovakia, bronze medalist, comes in as six at 6'1", 192 pounds. We are taking Simon Nemish. Now, with Nemish, we have, again, an Olympian. We have a player that is not only a top defenseman in the top Slovak league, but he has the highest production for a defenseman under the age of 21 ever, ever in his pro league. One goal, 25 assists. So there are goals to come is the scout for Nemesh. He doesn't always need to necessarily be the goal scorer for his teams, although he absolutely can do that. But again, 25 assists obviously has good hockey sense. And that is, again, the scout. They call it high-end hockey sense. We hear he's an excellent skater. We've talked on the show before. I think we need better skating defensemen. So I'm looking forward to that. Can quarterback the power play. Great puck moving defenseman. The scout also says that he's probably a year out from playing in the NHL, which I think is totally fine, given that we have the Coachella Valley, Coachella Valley uh, Firebirds roster in the AHL to fill. Um, I like that he is someone that says he is better under pressure. Um, you also hear that the scout is that good things happen when Nemec is and when Nemec is on the ice. Um, he likens himself to Makar, other f- former number one pick, Eric Carlson, Carlson, excuse me, and Josie. Uh, just to just to name some of the people that he has grown up liking to watch called silent but deadly and listen the seattle kraken needs some excitement defensively needs someone that has a high upside as far as being able to be a shutdown defender while also contributing offensively so we're going with nemish at number four locked on flyers you're on the clock in a minute we've got more mock draft picks coming up First, I want to tell you about Rock Auto, because with the ever-increasing number of makes and models of cars, it's basically impossible for your local chain auto parts store to stock all the parts you need. You've got to endure pointless or intimidated questioning. You've got to wait while the person behind the counter orders the parts on their computer. Choosing the brand that their warehouse happens to carry. Why don't you just stay at home? You've got computers with access to rockauto.com uh, on your desk, in your pocket, uh, on your couch, where mine lives most of the time. You can save time and money when using Rock Auto. They're a family business. They've been serving DIYers for over 20 years. And no matter who you are, their prices are reliably low for every customer. You've got everything from brake parts to tail lamps, motor oil, uh, even new carpet. You can put it on or in your car or truck. RockAuto.com probably sells it. So go find their easy-to-use website today, RockAuto.com. Find the solution to your auto part needs. Go to RockAuto.com right now and see all the parts available for your car or truck. Right locked on in the How Did You Hear About Us box so they know we sent you. Amazing selection. Reliably low prices. All the parts your car will ever need. RockAuto.com With the fifth overall pick, the Locked On Flyers show, select David Juracek, the big Czech defenseman. Uh, both Rachel and I feel like he is the guy that is going to be the uh, selection of the Flyers if he is there. He's got size. 
he can be a top pairing defenseman that could help cure some ills down the road. You could start him in the AHL if you like. He, uh, he could be a destroyer out there physically, but he's a terrific skater. He gets the puck up the ice. He can run a power play. He can do a lot of things, and he's still developing. So this could be a really good pick for the Flyers. It's a pivotal one for them uh, for the next three to four years, I believe. So that's the selection. We'll see how it goes. With the sixth pick in the NHL entry draft of 2022, the Columbus Blue Jackets are selecting from the US NTDP. Frank Nazar, he is a winger. He is super versatile. He is fast. He is offensive. Is he a little bit of a reach at six? Maybe, but I think he is perfect for what this Blue Jackets team needs. He is just so exciting. Scouts are saying, you know, he drives plays. He's an offensive dynamo. He's quick, crafty. He's a complete offensive threat. Flashes of creativity. Uh, he's a great skater. Like, he doesn't really have any downsides, in my opinion. Um, fantastic hockey IQ, fantastic player. Um, and I think he's going to look real good on that top Blue Jackets line in a couple of years' time. So uh, that is why this mock draft I'm selecting Frank Nazar from the US NDTP, NT, NTDP for uh, the sixth overall pick. And you can probably find more. If you want to know more about Frank Nazar, uh, you can listen to or watch the profile that I did on him with Jared Brown of Draft Pro Hockey over on YouTube. Uh, it is locked on Blue Jackets. We're going to be returning product profiles, and uh, Frank Nazar is one of them. So uh, make sure you check that out. Ross Levitan here alongside Brandon Pillar. We'd like to thank Locked On for providing us the opportunity to participate in this mock draft. We'd like to thank all of our Send Central citizens who are watching on the Locked On Senators YouTube page. And with that, with the seventh overall selection in the first version of the 2022 mock draft, the Ottawa Senators are proud to select Les Senateurs d'Ottawa sont fiers de choisir from the United States National Team Development Program, Cutter Gauthier. Goche is the typical power forward, already at 193 pounds, six foot three. Everything about this kid is heavy. He's got a heavy shot. He had 34 goals. He can hit heavy. I think he would fit perfectly in the Ottawa Senators organization. He also fits the philosophy the United States program has provided the Senators with Brady Kachuk, Jake Sanderson, and more. Four players over the past four drafts, and he fits the mold of being a guy who can play up and down the lineup different positions his flexibility gives the senators a lot more options down the road well scotty with the eighth selection in the 1.0 version of the locked on nhl mock draft locked on red wings selects out of liga brad lambert scotty what do we have to say about this forward and uh what did we see that made us take maybe a more controversial pick in the first round yeah i mean if you our Locked On Red Wings listener and have been listening to our draft profiles up to this point. Well, if you're if you're a frequent listener, right? Like this is somebody that uh, pretty much everybody we've had on, every expert, every analyst, every scout we've had on up to this point in the offseason has drooled over Brad Lambert. And this is a team that needs forward depth. He's played some center. He's played some winger. Let's see what we got in them. We definitely made some friends uh, with, with the people we've had on for sure. What I will say to our listeners and people who are watching this mock draft and going, Brad Lambert, hasn't he slipped? Uh, don't let his point totals confuse you. He played for a couple of poor teams over in the Finnish Liga, the JYR and the Pelicans this year. So his point totals didn't meet up, but he has incredible instincts, incredible zone entry skills, and he plays at a very fast pace. And with players around him that can finish on hit the uh, possibilities he opens up, he is going to be a lethal weapon. So that's why out of the Liga, we take finish born Brad Lambert, center, right wing. With the ninth pick in the 2022 NHL draft, the Locked On Sabres are proud to mock Joachim Kamel to the Buffalo Sabres right winger out of Finland with the ninth pick. Uh, don't ask me to pronounce the team name that he played for in Finland, but I think this is a very fun pick for the Sabres or any team that should end up with Kamel. Highly skilled player, a really good shot, great hands, good vision, good speed, just an all-around 
dynamic offensive player. Why will he fall then to pick nine if he's such a complete offensive player? If he's the whole package up front, he is only five foot nine. There are size questions with this player that I think, especially knowing NHL GMs, the way that we've seen them operate in the past in drafts, that we could see him fall a little bit even further than the ninth pick. But he's commonly ranked in the top 10. TSN's Bob McKenzie is one that had him ranked as high as three. He falls to the Sabres at nine in our Locked On NHL mock draft. We'll break that down more on the Locked On Sabres podcast. Follow us at Locked On Sabres on Twitter. In a minute, I've got the end of the mock draft for now. I think we're doing another one later on. Uh, but for now, just the 16 picks and uh, the next, the rest of the picks are coming up next. But first, I've just got to tell you about betonline.net. It is your number one source for all your betting needs and sports information. If you had put money on the Blue Jackets taking Frank Nazar sixth in this mock draft, then betonline.net would have been the place to go for that. Find all the latest sports developments, league reviews, and news, including this year's NHL playoffs and Major League Baseball. BetOnline is your continued source for all your sporting wagering information, including live betting, esports, and scores. And they remain the best spot for all your podcasts and news this season. BetOnline.net is the fastest and easiest way to check in on all your favorite sports and events, including things like uh, MMA, boxing, uh, even golf. If golf is your thing, BetOnline.net has odds and props for that right now. So head to the website today. Once again, that's BetOnline.net. Or use your mobile devices to more about the trends and action, because BetOnline is where the game starts. Good evening, I'm J.D. Hernandez from Locked On Anaheim Ducks. With the 10th selection in the Locked On NHL Mock Lottery Draft, the Anaheim Ducks are proud to select from the Seattle Thunderbirds of the WHL defenseman Kevin Korchinski. This is a quality pick for the Ducks because he brings size, speed, and a deft playmaking ability to the organization. The 6'2 blue liner has drawn comparisons to another former Duck, Shea Theodore. He led all WHL rookies in assists with 61. Also, Korczynski just concluded a stellar WHL playoff run, leading all defensemen in points with 19. That caused his draft stock to rise tremendously, especially with his skating and passing abilities on full display. He's been quoted as saying, I try to use my skating to get up the ice, create odd man rushes the other way, and just use it all around the ice. Then, just my offensive instincts, whether it's on the power play or just 5-on-5, five five, creating offensive chances. Korchinski just turned 18 on June 21st, and he plans to return to Seattle next season to try and bring a title there. Oh, by the way, just a little known fact. His favorite food is sushi, and with so many fantastic sushi choices in SoCal, he'd feel right at home here. With the 11th pick in the Locked On NHL mock draft, the San Jose Sharks select... Jew Gardens forward, Jonathan Lakiramaki. Lakiramaki is the perfect fit with William Eklund, as we, as here at Locked on Sharks, have been trying to find a friend for William Eklund this summer, and Lakiramaki is that guy. He is one of the best shooters, just pure skill snipers in the entire draft. Um, the Sharks, other than Gushin, don't really have that in their system. Um, the Sharks is a team that have Struggled to score goals recently, and Lakir Maki can help solve that problem. And 26 games in the SHL as a 17-year-old, he scored seven goals and had two assists at the time. And then in 26 games in the uh, on the J20 League, he had 20 goals and 15 assists for 35 points in 26 games. So Lakir Maki, the pick for the Sharks at uh, number 11. So make sure you guys follow along as we continue our draft coverage and get you guys ready for July 7th uh, draft here at Locked on Sharks. With the 12th pick in the NHL 2022 entry-level draft, the Columbus Blue Jackets are picking from the Moose Jaw Warriors in the WHL defenseman Denton Matejchuk. Just a real, real all-round defenseman, uh, 64 points in 65 games this season in the WHL, 
He is exciting. He's always up in the play. Uh, he is a, a confident, aggressive defenseman. He is uh, that Rover-like defenseman that the Blue Jackets love so much. Uh, he's going to fit in perfectly on the blue line. And uh, I think he's a, he's a really good fit for the Blue Jackets. Uh, do they need more defensive defensemen? Maybe. But I will never turn down more offense from the blue line. With the uh, the loss of some of their defensive prospects over the past couple of years, the pool is looking a little thin. And uh, I think a guy like Matejchuk at 12 is the perfect addition to uh, to that defense pool. Maybe a couple of years away from being a real difference maker in the NHL. I think he's going to be a kind of a slow a slow development process. I don't think the Blue Jackets should rush him, but I do think he has the potential to be a top pairing defenseman on this Blue Jackets team in two to four years' time. And if you want to learn more, check out my prospect profile of him over on YouTube for Locked On Blue Jackets. Really, really exciting kid. Uh, Blue Jackets fans are going to love him. With the 13th overall selection, the New York Islanders are proud to select Ivan Moroshnichenko from Russia, left wing. Moroshnichenko is the offensive, dynamic type player that the Islanders need. He has good skating ability and an excellent shot. He can make some very highlight reel type plays, and yet he's also got that dynamism that the Islanders seem to be lacking right now offensively. And in two or three years, he may very well be the kind of goal scorer that the Islanders could easily team with Matthew Barzal. The key is that his health checks out. Recently it did, so hopefully he would be a great addition to the New York Islanders. Hello, Locked On Winnipeg Jets family. The Winnipeg Jets are proud to select with the 14th overall pick, Denton Matejchuk. We believe Denton is an ideal fit for the Jets because he brings aggression, he brings passing, vision, speed, uh, great skating, a natural offensive instinct. Denton has it all, and he's a blue liner. Obviously, over the past few years, we've seen the Jets defense uh, lack that killer instinct in the offensive zone. We haven't had as much mobility. The passing has been a little bit lackluster. And defensively, you know, we don't have guys who are as good in the neutral zone. We don't have uh, zone clearance specialists. Uh, and we don't have people who make really good stretch passes up the ice. Matejchuk might be the answer to a number of these problems. He's not going to fix every single issue with Winnipeg. But if you're looking for a really good, reliable top four defender who might actually bring that offensive spark this team desperately needs, we think Matejchuk is an ideal fit here. And we are very excited to welcome to him to the Winnipeg Jets family. And you can hear more about him at Locked On Winnipeg Jets as we start nearing the NHL draft. Give us a like, follow, and a subscription on your favorite podcasting platform of choice. And as always, thanks for listening and go Jets go. With the 15th overall pick in the Locked On NHL mock draft, the Vancouver Canucks are proud to select from the U.S. National Development Program winger Isaac Howard. And why is this Howard selection a good fit for Vancouver? Simply put, he is a winger who can score a lot of goals. With Brock Besser's contract situation up in the air and potential changes coming to Vancouver under new management, Howard could be the perfect place to replace Brock Besser on the wing. He scored 33 goals in 60 games with the U.S. and under-18 team, spent time in the National Development Program, and will play at the University of Minnesota of Duluth come next season. He's not ready yet, but in a few years, I could see Howard sliding right into the Canucks' top six alongside the likes of Elias Pettersson, Bo Horvat, Vasily Podkolzin, and Niels Hogan, creating a young nucleus of goal scorers who can lead the Canucks forward for decades to come. With the 16th pick in the 2022 NHL Draft, Locked On Sabres mocks Rutger McGrody to the Buffalo Sabres with the 16th overall pick, the pick they acquired in the Jack Eichel trade uh, in the fall. Uh, McGrody, best name in the draft, Rutger McGrody. That's going to be a popular one for Jersey buyers. Um, a great player in uh, the USM and the United States National Development Program. Just go with that. Uh, great Season 33 points in 25 games in the USHL. Also at the World Junior 18, uh, under 18 tournament, eight goals in six games. He's got good, skilled abilities as a centerman. And that is really the most important part here. One of the best centermen that was left on the on the board. I could see the Sabres going with McGrody because two-way game, 
He's got the he's got the goal scoring ability, so a little bit of offensive ceiling. Uh, and good size, six foot two is where he's listed at in most places. The Sabres are very thin down the middle. They've got three guys really that you could count on going forward. They've got Tage Thompson, they've got Dylan Cousins, and then expect one of Casey Middlestat, Peyton Krebs, and Rasmus Asplund to become another centerman in the future. But that's kind of it. There's not a lot in the pipeline in the organization. They're very strong in the blue line, very strong in net, and very strong on the wing. McGrody would add a center. Follow us at Lockdown Sabres and check out the Lockdown Sabres podcast for more on Rutger McGrody and who the Sabres could pick with the 16th overall selection. And that's all I've got for you today. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to do the season review for Eric Robertson that I have been promising for the past uh, number of days. Uh, so we're going to be taking a look at him, how his season was, how we think the future is going to be uh, with him specifically. Things like that. Uh, I've been Jay Foster. You can find me on Twitter at underscore Jacob Foster, J-A-K-O-B-F-O-R-S-T-E-R. You can find this podcast at L-O underscore Blue Jackets. If you have comments, questions, criticisms, you can email me at LockedOnBlueJackets at gmail.com. Thank you once again for making this your first listen of the day. Locked on Blue Jackets continues to be free and available on all podcast platforms and YouTube. You're never going to have to get behind a paywall for a Locked On product. So uh, good for good for you. Good for us. Everybody wins. And uh, until tomorrow, make sure you stay locked on. <laughs>